Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Laravel e-commerce DHL shipping plugin. Now this particular plugin allows the admin to use DHL shipping service for the shipment of the products within his Bugisto store. This plugin calculates the shipping rates based on the DHL APIs for product shipping. Now this shipping method is the most trusted shipping method in terms of cost, product delivery and now it's available with the Bugisto store there. The admin can set the shipping method name and can even select the countries in which the shipment of the products will be available and much more. So basically all in all this particular plugin helps the admin to enable or disable the DHL shipping method for his store. The admin can set the DHL shipping method name that will be visible to the customers at the checkout page. The admin can allow country-wise shipping from the back end. The admin can define the allowed methods and the weight units. The admin can set the content type. And on the other hand, the customers would be able to select the DHL shipping for getting their products delivered at their home steps. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin. That's the Laravel e-commerce DHL shipping plugin at the customer's end and rest of the flow at the admin's end would be shown to you. That would include the initial configuration settings. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm at the storefront of the Vagisto web store and here you can see that I'm already logged into my customer account panel. So here we have the customer options, profile options. So what I'll do is I'll be adding one product into the cart and then we'll make a checkout thereafter. So I'll just add the simple product that's the watch product into the cart there. And after adding it into the cart there, I'll just tap here on the checkout button. On the checkout page, we'll be uh, able to select our billing address. So I'll be showing you the domestic working as well as the international working there for the DHL, how the different uh, DHL services get available to the customers there. So for example, if I am selecting uh, this particular address here for California, United States, then we'll be able to see the shipping, that's the domestic express for the DHL shipping for $45.30 there. But now if I refresh the page here and I select the uh, select a non-domestic uh, uh, address there, like this one, that's Webco Private Limited, Noida, Uttar Pradesh, India, and I try and see the uh, shipping method that is available here. You can see that the Express Worldwide for $229.35 is visible to the customers there. So the customer can select the appropriate uh, shipping method that he wants to select and can proceed to check out thereafter. So let's select this one that's for California, United States of America there. And this would display us the uh, domestic Express shipping method there. So I'll select that up, then I'll be selecting my payment method. After selecting my payment method, I can scroll down and here I can see that for $45.30, uh, the DHL shipping has been selected by the customer and then the customer can tap on the place order button to place the particular order. Now after the successful placing of the order, as you can see the order has been placed, the customer can view the details of the particular order. Uh, by going to this particular section and going to the order section and within the order section for the respective order number three for example here we can view the details of the particular order and here we can see the particular shipping and the handling charges that are applicable on this particular order for $45.30 there and under the shipping method here you can see that we have selected the domestic express and the shipping method name is DHL shipping. This is a service name. That's the domestic express there. Right now, let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's see the rest of the workflow there at the admin's uh, backend panel. So I'll be logging into the Bugisto backend panel by entering the email password and tapping on the sign in button. Now, uh, if I go to the sales and check this particular order at the admin's end here, one this one of the order ID two here and I scroll down, uh, I can see the shipping method name selected by the customer was uh, DHL shipping and the uh, service name was Domestic Express and the shipping price was $45.30 there, right? So from here, the admin can then generate the invoice and can generate the shipments as well as for the requirements there. 
by going to the shipments uh, or going to the invoice by generating the invoice and then going to the ship to sh uh, uh, to generate the shipment for the particular order there. Now to make the initial configuration settings, what we need to do is we need to go to uh, configure and uh, here we need to navigate to sales. Under sales, we'll go to shipping methods and here we'll navigate to our DHL shipping that's here you can see. So here you can set up the title that was visible to the customers at the checkout time. The same title was visible to the customers as well and was visible in the order uh, detail section as well, DHL shipping. Uh, then we can set up the description for the shipping there. Then, when, then we can enable it for the checkout or we can disable it for the checkout as well by enabling or disabling this uh, toggle button. Then we can choose to calculate the text for the sh uh, shipment there. Then we can make use of this particular plugin in the sandbox or the testing mode or in the live or the production mode. For the live, you have to uh, disable this option for the testing or the sandbox mode. You have to enable this particular option here. Then you have to enter your access ID, password, account number. Now these details you'll get after you've registered yourself as a merchant with the DHL there and then you'll be able to get your access ID, password and the account number. Then we have the weight units, so you can choose between kilograms and pounds. You can choose the dimension units as inches or centimeters. Uh, for the package, you can set the height, depth and width as well. Then you can choose the content type, whether it's documents or non-documents. Then you can choose the allowed methods or the allowed shipping methods that would be visible to the customers at the checkout time. Uh, the selected ones uh, that would be available would be displayed to the customer as per the address there then we have the ready time in hours option so here you can set the time within which the particular order would be ready there and then we have the allow shipping for countries so here you can select the countries where you want ship the particular order using the dhl shipping there so you can select it as for your own requirement and lastly what you need to do is you need to tap here on the save button to save the initial configuration settings so yes, that was much about the Laravel e-commerce DHL shipping plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements regarding the same, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.ubidesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.